it's the Art Ninja Graffiti pin board. I've got a couple of large pieces of card, both the same size, and we're going to stick them together with a bit of PVA glue. Doesn't need to be neat here, just needs to be sticky. Now, if you're doing this at home, you need to put newspaper down to protect your table, but my art table is made for this kind of action. And the reason I'm doubling up the card is so it's thick enough to stick pins to. Now, as I'm going to hang this up, I need to make some holes so I can put some string through it. Get a pencil to poke the hole and a bit of modelling clay to protect the table. And I'm punching four holes, two on each side. One there, one there. One there, one there. So I'm cut a length of string, snip that off, thread that through, and then tie it to itself. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now that bit's done, I've got myself a big dish here. Some white paint. Using a sponge, I'm just going to dab on the paint. And this white is going to be the mortar that you'll be able to see through between the bricks. I'm just dabbing it on to get a nice texture. I want it to look kind of rough. And while that's drying, I'm going to make my bricks. So I've got a couple of pieces of pre-cut card. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit of brown paint. Get my sponge. I'm going to use the same technique with these bits of cardboard. Just dabbing it on like this. Do the same to the other one. Now, as bricks come in lots of different colours and tones, I'm going to make this one slightly darker and add a little bit of black. Then I'm going to add a couple of accents and slightly darker areas on it. You can get some really nice effects layering up different colours. But if I'm going to make a wall, I'm going to need a ton of these, so I'll need just some more. Sweet. That's a good amount of bricks. Now, with the PVA glue, I'm going to start sticking them on. I'm putting this one down here with a little bit of a gap in between, because that's, of course, the mortar showing through. So don't worry if you get a bit of PVA glue on the front of the bricks, because, of course, it dries clear. Now, I'm sticking these down in a brickwork pattern. The bricks are offset. I'm also mixing up the different colours to make it look like an authentic wall. I'm just letting them overhang the edges. And when it's finished, it'll look like a piece of wall has been removed. Right, I think that's looking really good. It's time for me to give it my own personal tag. I've got some nice coloured paints here. Here's some shapes that I cut out from the sponge. And I'm going to paint my name. But on your wall, you can do whatever you like. I'm going to start with the purple. These tapered ends of the sponges kind of make it look like you lift away the spray can at the end. When I change letters, I'm going to change colours. I'm using a different colour for each letter, but you can use any colours you like. Getting creative with my colours. Yeah, looking good. Now I want something of a similar theme to hold my pens, so I'm going to make a spray can. So for that, I've got an old gravy pot, and I've cut the top of an old drinks top here. I'm just going to stuff it with a bit of newspaper. This is going to help it stick and not slide around as I glue it to the lid of my gravy pot. And stick it on, and I'm using strong glue. And now for some finishing touches, I'm going to use my ninja skills. So I've wrapped the gravy tube in orange, the top's painted silver, like a real spray can. And I've added an Art Ninja sticker. On the back, I've put a little bit of hook and loop tape, sticky side out here, so I can stick it to my wall. That means I can pop it off, but it's got a place it will always stick back on. And now I can stick in my pens and pencils. There we go. I've always said I've had good board skills, but now I've swapped the skateboard for a pin board. Not only does he do art, he does jokes as well. Now to add some pictures. Ah, oh, there's one of Gavin when he got set in fire by our animation dragon. Michelle on a deck chair. And our clown juice art. I think that looks awesome. Now all I need to do is hang it up. There are all kinds of ways to personalise your pinboard. How about this wrecking ball wall? <laughs> 